Hey y'all, listen, listen. I'm out here with my mentor. This guy here taught me so much about film, you guys. This the legendary Mark. What's up, Mark? <laughs> I, I had Mark go, you know. Is this live? No, nah, no, nah, this okay. is record. Okay. Mark is, um, <laughs> he's someone that been in, what, Can TV for 20 some see. years. How long you been with Can TV? No, I, I left about four, two years ago because uh, I got tired. See, I'm tired but you've of been your, doing your, it for a while, though. I'm retired. Because <laughs> I got tired of your people. Your people. Now, the ladies in my group, my organization, your man, people. they said, that dude there is misogynist. I said, no, nah, don't believe what Mark be saying. He no, don't no, put no, no women no, down. No, see, wait, wait. See, they don't want Because you blame black women for this. Oh, all no, that I blame, trash. Oh, no, 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 no. Black women are the, are the teachers of the children. So, the first teachers of the children are black women. Where that can, are your lenses right here? Mm -hmm. The first teacher of the children are women. Period. So that's why you blame me? That's right. And Apple don't fall far, far from the tree. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Man, listen. The election just happened, man. You feel hopeful. You're a Chicagoan. You feel like no, the change man, is coming. No, man, it's still the same. They, uh, it's windy out here. But the demographers already say that by 2030, the black population, the African-American population, the Negro population, the color population, whatever word y'all use now, it's going to be uh, about 600,000. That's half of what it was at its peak yeah. in 1983. So 1983 was like 1.2 million black folks in Chicago. I don't know if that's the city or the region. I don't know what that is, but the point is... No, nah, just Chicago. Just Chicago. Just yeah. Chicago. So we're going to be half. But that's a 40-year time frame. Within 40 years, the black population uh, decreases. And it's okay. Well, it's how you live. No, it's no, not no, no, right. No, no, no. I right. tell you, my dad came to, came to Chicago in 1951 mm -hmm. from Arkansas, and I was born in 62. This ain't rocket science, right. people. Right. They, and the demographers say most neighborhoods in Chicago, this is all WBEZ, I mean, it's from mm -hmm. WBEZ radio. And uh, they say, uh, demographers say that uh, uh, the neighborhoods tend to flip in three generations. Mm. Neighborhoods tend to flip in three generations. With the white flight, they flip. Uh, Black and then, got yeah, I mean, this is all back. white. Yeah, a lot yeah, of these, yeah. the South Shore, we near South Shore, was Jewish, man. Now, so, now, you know that State Farm commercial, they say Americans move more than anyone in, in, in the society. Right. Eleven times we tend to move in our lifetime. Right, people move. And as another, it was another article, I mean, NPR, this is NPR also. They said half of all college graduates move from their birthplace state by the age of 30. Half of all college graduates move. You come to Chicago, a lot of folks in Chicago only been here five and ten, maybe twenty years. They from someplace else. Tony Preckwinkle, I don't know how she when she got here, she's running for mayor. Tony Preckwinkle's from uh, Minneapolis, uh, St. Paul. Somewhere she, north. She from, yeah, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Uh, 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 Lori Lightfoot, she was born in the same year, 1962, like me. And, uh, and the point, and, uh, and she's from Ohio. Ohio. Ohio, yeah. rural, pretty much Ohio. Out, not too far from Akron and uh, But where, where we at now, they shoot and kill over here, man. What you think about that? Any hope for the shooting and killing over here? No, the, the crime is going to go down Chicago because for, I, started, <laughs> I, started, I, started, I started in Chicago Public School. It was a CPS in 1967. I started mm. kindergarten in 1967. In 1967, black people were really much uh, were half. No, we were the majority mm -hmm. of the students in the CPS, Chicago Public Schools, for 50 years. Now it's Latino. Right. It's okay. I mean, we, uh, they had white flight. I mean, when I was in grammar school, I think we had one kid. I think his name was Andrew or something. One white kid, all of a sudden, Andrew was gone. And <laughs> it was all, uh, it <laughs> was all was, the but, bus. But, uh, but, and then when I was a kid, back in the day, and you know the cities, what did I do? The Divine Line, I, I live over west, so West. Divine was, no, it was Damon. The, the, yes, Damon, right, yeah, this yeah, is like right, 87th right, and Damon. Right, 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 yeah. And older people said, Mark, I remember the Divine Line was Ashland, okay? <laughs> they let y'all keep so coming. We just kept coming, and that's why, and, and it was a natural progression for black people who moved to the south suburbs. Right. Nothing wrong with the south suburbs, but the south suburbs are some of the poorest na towns in Illinois. But, some but, of those towns are really messed so up. So is there any hope, though, Mark? No, there's no hope. There's, there's no hope, man. No, like, there's, there's no hope. We do as the people. The only hope is the raising of children. Mm -hmm. That's why you started by me. I'm getting hard Clean on women. Clean neighborhoods, safe yeah. neighborhoods. Any, Clean. Look at that yeah, trash there. Anybody, that's anybody who's raised children, and a lot of us are cold, cold. Oh, give, me some, give me some light here. What's that? The sun with light. The clouds up there. I'm a big fan of the light. Got to see the light. And so the bottom line is that you have to raise, raising children is hard. You raise children, I raise children, mm -hmm. anybody who's raised children, and most of us co-parent our children. Right, it's, 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 right. it's tough, no, it's tough if you live with the wife or the girlfriend, y'all live in the same house for your kids. That's hard. I'm, I imagine that co-parenting is even harder, and right. most of us co-parent our children. Right, right. They, and that's the number one thing we don't want to talk about, is the raising of our children. 
the village is gone. Yeah. I mean, that's, you can could, you could create a village in and, the And that's what we're working on building. I know, right, I right, know. Right. but the bottom line is the raising of children, period. Like I tell folks, Michelle Obama's house is not far from here. We could almost walk to Michelle. Right back there. Right down here. Yeah. yeah. You can flip me up. I'm saying, mm -hmm. Michelle, we could almost walk. We could walk to Michelle mm -hmm. Obama's house. Mm -hmm. But Michelle and Barack were sitting there, little girls, <laughs> to uh, Bryn Mawr. I think she went there when it's called Bryn Mawr. It's Boucher now. It's Boucher yeah. now, right? <laughs> right. Over here on 79th Street. Not too far. We can walk to Michelle Obama's grammar school. Mm -hmm. And she, they won't go to their babies, her little girls, to the same grammar school she went to because their income is one up. Remember what Rahm Emanuel said, right? He ain't sending his kids no, to his Rahm Emanuel. And he's a mayor of the city. Ma Rahm Emanuel, what's his name? Arnie Duncan mm -hmm. uh, and Barack Obama. They sent their kids to lab school when they were here. Right, right, University right. University right, of right, Chicago right. Laboratory School. Right, right, right. So it's this, it's, it's, and see, the class thing, we don't want to talk about it. See, I'm pseudo bougie because I, I, I have bourgeois tendencies. Your, your standards. Yeah, my bourgeois standards. <laughs> I just ain't got the education and, and income to back it up because I'm ignorant, right? But see, but that's why I speak the way I do because if I got the education I should have gotten, I wouldn't be bothered with Negroes. I'd have moved a long time ago. Listen, y'all. Mark, believe even though he talks like that, Mark supports us, been supporting us. We we looked at the numbers. And y'all know people who say, Si, I've been with you for 20 years. Y'all know twelve dollars a year. So people say they've been with us 20 years. We look and see what's their lifetime. Is it two hundred and forty dollars? That's 20 years. <laughs> Mark is almost it's super windy out here, you got oh, Mark is sitting Mark is sitting almost at four figures, y'all, with us. That's huge. That's huge. And it just says so even though he's frustrated with black people, he's supporting the work we do to no, touch no, our black people. Love, That's the bottom no, it's, line. It's love because what happens that What's up, black man? A lot of folks don't know if if you've been fortunate enough to travel and you and you that's have it. to travel. That's it. That's it. I mean, you traveled all over. I that's stopped it. traveling because my money got my money's got funny, right? <laughs> but if you've been fortunate to travel, I got a passport. I, mean, I don't know where I'm going. I've been to Canada, the Bahamas, mm -hmm. but I'm saying though, I never been overseas, so I'm gonna go. I got my passport ready. I gotta get my money ready. Mm -hmm. But if when you travel, just even Change in the United, your mindset. even in the United States, is traveling. Yeah. I mean, just traveling the United. I know, I know people have never been no, to Milwaukee. No, no, wait, wait, they ain't been to Milwaukee. They, Milwaukee's right here. No, you said something. You said I may not get here again in my lifetime, and I thought that was extraordinary because we take for granted time. You might not get to certain places again before you transition. Well, I, you I know? can say I, I went to uh, the Niagara, Niagara, been to Niagara Falls. If you haven't been to Niagara Falls, if you haven't been, you need to go. It's, it's I heard they got that light show too. Uh, it's, so, yeah. it's cool. It's, it's something to see. But uh, the Grand Canyon and also Mount Rushmore. Now Mount Rushmore is just I know, but the, to go to the to the wilderness out yeah, the forest, go. way out there yep. in South Dakota. Yeah. I went to Mount Rushmore in yeah. 2002. I don't know if I'm ever gonna go again. Right. Right. Some places are trips of a lifetime. The trips you may that, only go once. That, people go to it. Africa, they go to Ghana, they whatever. Yeah. They, it's some people, you may never get you back may never there get, again. So like one time, that's, that's all you go get. But it's expanding. So, so it's give, the, the so give us a closing argument, man. What, what no, we had three no, no, after no, no, this election? No, no, no. What's what's happening in Shy after oh, this oh, election? election? Oh, uh, black folks been done. I had a, I had a blog years ago. We we've been done in this town, but it's okay, man. You, you had the first great migration. You had the second great migration. Uh, I think it's 19, uh, uh, 1919, when they had a great race riot in 1919, mm -hmm. the, uh, which is 100 years ago. <laughs> they had the, the black population, I think it was uh, 100,000. Mm. In 2119, if you will, is that the way, 2119? No, it'll be, it'll be, whatever it is, another, uh, 20, another 100 years from now, it may 20, be. 2119? Yeah, 20, another 100 years from now, it may, the black population probably be 100,000 people. And it's okay. A lot of yeah. us, here, remember, in 2019, a lot of us who are here ain't gonna be here. <laughs> And it's okay. So, hey, I, I hate to say <laughs> it's okay. it, but it's we, okay. We we got the murders happening. Some people literally no, every and, day and, losing their life and, out and, here. And, right, and also was that we, we, we physically we won't live forever. So we try to do what we can while, while we living That's and breathing. It. And so I always tell folks, you know, just travel. I mean, people are like I ain't got no money. I said, get in the car, go to Milwaukee. Right. Get it's a car, mindset. To, no, it's people, a mindset. No, no, because people are like, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna right. do? Right. I tell folks, just go to Detroit. We love Detroit, right? Yeah. Just, I know people have never been to Detroit. Yeah. It's been yeah. in Chicago fifty years. Yep. Yeah. Come nah, on, just nah, get in the car. Tra travel is key. Y'all know I'm a Navy guy. That's a big deal. That's what changed my whole view. Is traveling with the Navy, seeing other things, meeting new people, change your whole way of thinking. That's what's gonna turn the city around, man. I believe it. No, I would tell for you, like Gary's not far uh, from um, Notre Dame, South Bend. Mm -hmm. That's a no-brainer. It's only like 65 miles mm -hmm. from Gary. Every young person should go on from, a college GI, tour. Yeah. A black college tour, white college tour. Mm -hmm. I mean, the whole thing is expand your consciousness. you got to see the world beyond the hood. People are like, I ain't got no money. 
people would give you money if your attitude was right, correct. Right, Isn't right, that right? right? I tell you, you tell me on people all the time. People would give you money. Yeah. They would t put you on a plane. They put you on just a train. Just so you get that experience. Be right? Yes, because of, because you because your attitude is great. Your attitude is funky. I can't help. It. Yeah. All right. What's up with this back here behind us? What is this? I don't even know what that is. Looks good, though. You see our chocolate melanin people there, so I love it, y'all. So please do what Mark did. Keep supporting us so we can get these young people traveling, broaden their whole thinking. You can't take away what people experience when they hit New York City, Coney Island, they in Brooklyn. That, that, those type of trips stick in their spirit, y'all. Peace.